We have described how Bernoulli random finite sets can model uncertainties when we have a single object that may or may not be present. We have also introduced the multi-Bernoulli processes, which are useful when there may be objects at a few different locations. However, the multi-Bernoulli process is primarily an excellent tool for representing what we know about the set of objects when we have known data associations. And as you know, an important challenge in multi-object tracking is that we may have considerable data association uncertainties. The multi-Bernoulli mixture random finite set is an extension to the multi-Bernoulli random finite set that enables us to handle situations when we have multiple data association hypotheses. As such, it is also essential to several of the state-of-the-art multi-object tracking algorithms that Carl describes later in this course. Suppose we have capital H hypotheses and capital N Bernoulli components in each hypothesis and let PHXI denote the multi-object PDF of the ith Bernoulli component in hypothesis H. The random finite set, bold face X, is then a multi-Bernoulli mixture random finite set or an MBM process if its multi-object PDF is a summation over H from one to capital H of the multi-Bernoulli PDFs PXH, weighted by the probabilities WH. Here, the weights are non-negative and sum to one, which means that they can be viewed as probabilities of the different hypotheses. Also, under hypothesis H, X is the union of Bernoulli random finite sets, X1 to Xn, where Xi is a Bernoulli random finite set with the multi-object PDF PXIH. Consequently, under hypothesis H, X has a multi-Bernoulli PDF, PHX, which can be written as a summation over all mutually disjoint sets, X1 to Xn, whose union is X, of the product over all the corresponding Bernoulli PDFs. Note that this summation over the products is how we expressed multi-Bernoulli PDFs in the last video. We will mostly use multi-Bernoulli mixtures to represent the posterior distribution over the set of detected objects. And in this context, the capital H hypotheses represent different data association hypotheses. To visualize what this may look like, suppose there are two data association hypotheses, where the probability of the first hypothesis is W1 equals 0.8, and the probability of the second hypothesis is W2 equals 0.2. In this example, the first Bernoulli component is the same in both hypotheses. This could, for instance, happen if the history of associations for that potential object is the same under both hypotheses. This Bernoulli component states that with 70% probability, there is an object around minus 2,2. We also think there is an object around 2,2. The existence probability for that object is 0.9 under hypothesis 1 and 0.6 under hypothesis 2, whereas the covariance is smaller under hypothesis 1 than under hypothesis 2. Finally, we have a third Bernoulli component, which has a small existence probability under hypothesis 1 and existence probability 1 under hypothesis 2. This may happen if hypothesis 2 states that we have detected that object at the current time, which would also explain the fact that we have a different mean and a smaller covariance under hypothesis 2. To generate samples from a multi-Bernoulli mixture, it is useful to be familiar with one more distribution for discrete random variables, namely the categorical distribution. Suppose the vector w contains the weights w1 to wh, where these weights are still non-negative and sum to 1. Now, a random variable is categorical with parameter w, if the probability that it takes the value j is wj. As you can see, the categorical distribution is simple, and it is also a distribution that appears in many contexts. For instance, the outcome when you roll a fair dice is categorical with a parameter vector w of length 6, whose elements are all 1 sixth. A minor remark is that, depending on your software, it may be easier to instead generate multinomial variables, but the algorithm presented here assumes that you generate categorical random variables. To obtain a compact notation, we assume that the Bernoulli PDF, PHXI, 
is parameterized by RHI and the spatial PDF PHI. Given that we know how to sample a multi Bernoulli random finite set, it is simple to sample a multi Bernoulli mixture random finite set. As before, we initialize the set as empty. We then randomly select one of the hypotheses by generating H from a categorical distribution with the weight vector W as parameter vector. Given H, we then generate a sample from the multi Bernoulli random finite set number H. We essentially do that using the algorithm from the multi Bernoulli video. That is, we loop through all the n Bernoullis using a for loop that runs from i equal 1 to capital N. For every i, we generate the random number rand, uniformly distributed between 0 and 1, and check if rand is smaller than rhi. If it is, we then generate the vector xi from phi and add that to our set x. Let us look at samples from a simple multi Bernoulli mixture. Suppose capital H is 2, such that there are only two hypotheses, and let the probability of the first hypothesis be 0.75, and the probability of the second hypothesis be 0.25. We also assume that both Bernoulli components in both hypotheses have an existence probability 0.8. As for the spatial PDFs, all Bernoullis are Gaussian, with the same covariance matrix, 0.3 times the identity matrix. To simplify the visualization, we also assume that they are vectors of length 2. Under hypothesis 1, the first Bernoulli has mean 2,2, 2, and the second has mean minus 2,2. 2. These Gaussian densities are illustrated in the figure. Under hypothesis 2, the first Bernoulli random finite set has mean 2,2, 2, and the second has mean minus 2,2. 2. If you look at the samples from this multi Bernoulli mixture, you can see that we mostly obtain samples from the first multi Bernoulli distribution, but that we sometimes obtain samples from the second. We normally obtain one point or a vector from each of the two Bernoullis within the selected multi Bernoulli, but it is not uncommon that we obtain one vector.